I'm making a quick update. It's been it's been a little bit over two months since I have taken anything for medicine. If you just have to preview my videos, there's a crap lot of things that I went through. I'm just making this to let people know not a struggle or anything like that. I don't want people to feel sorry for me, but I just want people to know that this can be done and how it feels and what happens when you go through all this all this crap that I went through. But uh, nonetheless, towards the end, I had to get rid of everything that was stressing me out as far as some triggers that were taking place with uh, causing depression and anxiety. Uh, and it cost me a great deal of problems to do this, but it was worth it in the end and um, you know it's funny how for the last four years I had to take this I had to take that I had to take this I had to take that and go to sleep I had the worst insomnia ever I mean I cannot even stress to you how horrible it was and when I was under this medicine primarily for the longest it was you know lorazepam and mirtazapine at night only prior to going to bed um, it worked fine, and then it ended up not working sometimes, but about 80% of the time, it did work, and it was pretty effective, but as you all know how Ativan ends when you start tapering off, you you get those crazy nightmares back-to-back. Uh, -back. Uh, I think uh, when I was coming off all this medicine in the end now, about two months ago, or I want to say almost two and a half months ago, I think, um, I tapered off not too slow but not too fast uh, there is a tapering plan it's like huge I mean like I had to taper off of something like this and I you know I was like I can't. It, the whole process was like 12 weeks and I got tired of it one day basically how this all happened I just got tired of spending money wasting my time precious time going to the doctor and paying for this and paying for that and then having to turn around and go get it at the uh, pharmacy and then having that worry of going somewhere out of town or breaking down somewhere and then guess what you got some medicine you got to take every day or you're gonna have a nasty withdrawal just for not taking one dose at night I just didn't want to live like that I didn't want to I didn't want to you know it's just it was in my head the whole time and it just got really really old and so I tapered off a little faster than I should have but not too fast I didn't want to go into a seizure or anything like that I do understand the danger uh, I've done a lot of research online. I, I know a little bit working in a medical field. I'm not too naive, but yeah, I think the first night I had like, oh God, I want to say, it felt like I want to say four nightmares, but it was about, about two nightmares back to back. I mean, it was they were horrible. I mean, just, they were brilliantly uh, detailed. <laughs> Bad, I mean, blood, death, I mean, just weird stuff you just don't want to even think about. Well, the second night, it wasn't that bad. It was just like a dream or something like that, or a nightmare, I'm sorry. And it just progressed to just being not much. But those first three, uh, two or three nights was, you know, a little rough. You know, my body was knowing and telling me that you're not taking something, so this is what's going to happen for you not doing that. And I just kind of fought through it. <clears throat> I mean, eventually, I gave into it, and then I jumped over that hurdle, and it took about it took about two weeks for my hands to keep steady they weren't very jittery or shaky but you can kind of tell that they were kind of you know you can kind of see a slight shake and it was all that poison all that nasty benzodiazepine just in my blood for four years since i was you know i'm 32 years old if i recall back i started all this junk when i was you know, 28, 29, it just, it's cleaned out of my body. And here's the weird thing that I, I just cannot get over. But when I was taking all this medicine I, to go to sleep because I just couldn't sleep, the days it didn't work, let's just say I don't know what happened. Some There was some bullshit drama going on or whatever. And I just couldn't sleep and it just nerved me up. The medicine wouldn't do anything. Let's say I had to go to work. I work a 12-hour shift, so let's say I had to go to work on five hours of sleep. I mean, I felt like crap all day long. It felt like someone laid two rocks that weighed a pound each on both of my eyes and just delirious, just tired, my eyes feeling heavy, my eyelids, everything just 
It was, it was horrible. It was like, you know, four hours of sleep. Oh, that's why I didn't go there. I, it was just nasty. And now that I'm not taking any medicine, this is really interesting. I don't know if this was supposed to be the real me as far as not taking anything. I mean, you were born not taking any medicine to begin with, you know. You just weren't. And, you know, I guess the body's supposed to live like that, you know. You have to, most of these things are in your head now that I look at it. But, you know, you do have to change your environment. You do have to get rid of the things that are stressing you out. There's a reason why it's happening. You're not sitting there depressed for nothing. Or you're getting this anxiety for nothing. It just didn't come out of nowhere. There is a reason why there's a trauma going on, uh, a worry, a something that's going on. You know, uh, I know it's hard to say, but the only thing I can think of that you could not help is pending death from a family member or something like that, or after you experience something like that, like your mother or father. But and I haven't been there in that route yet, but. I will eventually, but besides that, there's a way to get rid of this, and I did, and it just feels wonderful. I'm not trying to go off point here, but now that I'm not taking anything, if I sleep five hours or six hours, and I wake up, and I notice that I only slept five or six hours, I mean, I'm wide awake. I'm just like, it's hard to explain. It's bizarre. It's like someone just snuck in, snuck in, snuck an espresso in my mouth and just woke me up. And that's it. I'm awake. And I'm not sleepy. I'm not delirious. I'm not going, oh, God, I can't believe I'm going to go work a 12-hour shift, 14-hour shift, whatever it is, on, you know, four, five, six hours of sleep. I feel fine. I'm a little tired. I could have slept more. But nothing, nothing like it was when I was taking medicine. And whereas, you know, anything less than six hours, you know, my eyes were tired. They were heavy. I mean, they felt heavy. I felt horrible. My head, every, it just it's a long list. I just find it rather amusing now that I'm not taking anything that if I just, if, if my body just tells me you're going to get up in six hours, I do. And I feel fine. I feel normal. I don't, I just feel a little tired, but I mean, I'm still productive at work. I'm, I'm clear headed. My eyes don't feel heavy anymore. And it's, it's really strange. I, I really don't know how or why it's supposed, maybe it's supposed to be that way. I don't know. Because I, you know, when I was taking all this medicine, I would hear these co-workers saying, well, I only slept five or six hours, you know, but I'm, you know, I'm here. And, you know, I would see them all day at work. I'm thinking, God, you don't even look tired. You don't even, you're not even saying that your eyes are heavy or you're delirious or nothing. They're just, they don't. They're like, well, no, I, you know, I'll go to sleep tonight and maybe I'll catch eight hours. So I'm thinking, well, it must be nice that you don't have to, you don't feel anything like that. This, this drain, it was like a nasty drain. And now that I look back at Back at it, this medicine was causing this nasty drain. It has to because, you know, now I fall asleep. If I sleep four hours or three hours, it's it's fine. I feel, I feel great. But on this medicine that I used to take, I would feel like crap, like I was dying. So I don't know what else to blame with the medicine. So I, it's really interesting. Uh, just like tonight or last night, I, I only slept five hours or six hours or somewhere in between five or six and I was fine I got up and you know got me a little cup of coffee and went to work and I didn't even tell anybody I didn't I, you know I didn't sleep as much as I would want to and you know all that but previously with the medicine if I slept eight hours or nine hours I was fine I felt good I felt okay a little zombified but I felt okay but if it was less than eight hours oh my god everybody at work would know it and I would feel it from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. until I got home and man it was just I don't know and so now I'm trying to get my body adjusted my mind adjusted to where it's okay if I get up in six hours or, or seven hours or five and a half hours it's okay you're not gonna feel like crap like you did when you were taking medicine so I don't know why it does that I have no idea if you guys know anything about that or what but just make a little update I just want people to know about it and Give them a little hope of, you know, things can get better and can only get better in the end. It really, it really can. It just, I never thought I could, I, I pictured myself coming off of medicine. I didn't ever visualize myself always taking it. And some people have that in their mind that they're going to, you know, 
all that I have to rely on Xanax all the time because I get so antsy when I go in public. I'm thinking, do you really, really, really have to, do you have your mind set that way, I guess? I don't know. I think that's so sad. And a lot of people are addicted to it. I mean, they will eat it all day like Tic Tacs. And I'm thinking, my God, do you even remember talking to me? And half the time they don't. I never got that bad. I never abused this medicine. I have to give myself a little bit of kudos here for, for doing that, for managing it so well for four years. I really do. Just a little update. I don't see myself doing too many of these updates because, you know, I'm feeling a lot better about it, and I, I don't want to go back in that route. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Um, by the way, I'm saving a lot of money now. I'm not seeing any doctors.